Okay guys, so in this question they're asking us to find the minimum length. Whenever we see minimum or maximum, we should think of calculus first derivative equal to zero. Now they want the length of PQ. So check this out. These types of questions are actually quite easy. If I told you that P was had the following coordinates, negative two and six, and Q was negative two and two, what would you say that this vertical length would be? Well, you would say four because 6 minus 2 is 4. So a thing we can always do is we can say y of the top value minus the y of the bottom value and that will always give us the length. So I'm going to call that pq. Now we don't really want to work with y's and so what we do is we replace y top with its equation. So that's the straight line so we can use the straight lines equation and we put that in the place of y top then we say minus in brackets y bottom is the hyperbola which they've given us over here and that's going to be 4 over x plus 4 and that must be equal to the length of pq we can then simplify so that'll be minus 4 over x minus 4 equals to pq and so then what we're left with is minus 4x minus 4 over x and that's equal to pq now we would want to take the first derivative so to do the first derivative we need to first fix up this x of yes that'll be minus 4x minus 4 to the x minus 1 and that's the length of pq now we can take the first derivative I'm actually just gonna rewrite this first just switching everything around just makes it easier okay so we can take the first derivative now because that's how we find minimums and maximums that's minus 4 plus because this minus 1 multiplies into the front and so that's going to be plus 4 x to the minus 2 find minimums and maximums we make the first derivative equal to 0 like that and then I'm going to put this x at the bottom actually so it's going to become 4 over x to the 2 now going to take this 4 over so it'll look like this now we're going to multiply the x squared over, so it's going to be 4x squared equals to 4. Divide both sides by 4, so x squared is 1. Then when you take the square root, please remember to always say plus and minus 1. Okay, so now they've given us two answers. So we need to now work out which one is the minimum and which one is the maximum. Because when you make the first derivative equal to 0, that gives you minimum and maximum. So now that we have two answers, we need to check both of them. So what is it that we're trying to find the minimum and maximum of? It's the length. And so we made a formula for the length of PQ over here, for example. And so if X is 1, then PQ is going to be minus 4 times by 1, minus 4 over 1. And that's going to give us minus 8. You can't have a length that is negative. So that, that, that's not even applicable. And then if x is minus 1, pq is going to be minus 4 times by minus 1, minus 4 over minus 1, and that's going to give us positive 8, and that's applicable. So that is the answer.